Air Force Base was opened in 1941. It's primarily been a training base. It closed in 1971. After the Air Force Base closed, they still had people coming out, uh, former workers, civilians, military employees, and decided they would have these reunions every other year and they would bring memorabilia with them. The curator at the time, John Elkins, took all of this home, cataloged it, stored it, and in 2002, someone at the meeting said, why don't we build a museum? I never heard of Perrin myself till I was in Vietnam. I had a buddy that had been stationed here at Perrin. I came out here too one day, and I never thought that I would have anything to do with Perrin. And one day, one of the older veterans put me to work. That's what I've been doing ever since then. You could probably ask any teacher, when someone wants to know something, to ask questions, you want to tell them. And uh, what I try to do, I, I try to get the children interested. In. When I see a, a young person wanting to learn something, it, it excites me. Of course, the Wall of Honor is one of my favorites because I work a lot with it. It's veterans from the Texoma area. There are some that are still currently serving, some that have been gone for a long time. And we have generations of families that are shown in some of these pictures. And we have probably have almost doubled the amount of pictures that they started with. So we're very, very proud to display our veterans in those. When I came here, we had a lot of World War II vets, and I had a chance to work with most of them. Just the idea of uh, the camaraderie, and you, you can always learn something. You can learn something from people older than you, smarter than you, kids. You, you can always learn, that is an opportunity. It's, it's always some, some, some way you can grow by just talking and being with other people. Getting out here is probably one of the best things I've done. There's so many favorite things about Denison. My favorite thing, it is a kind of a, I'd say a small town, a small city. It is a larger town than it used to be or when I was growing up. So I can always go to Dallas and I can always be away from all of the crowd. When you walk down the street, different types of food, different activities. So it's, it's, all, it's something there for everybody. I call it home now. It still has the hometown feel, the friendliness of the people. So I would think just the hometown feel of Denison. Thank you.